Mr. Matthews, are you excited about getting a dog? Huh? You sure are? Am I excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully not. Hmm. Let's roll. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Yo, you always want to book on it, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Hold up. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> <laughs> we are. We are. Getting a dog. I know. Sounds strange coming out of my mouth, too. Unexpected blessing. In the dog name. No, it's not. <laughs> don't even listen. Dog name. Don't even listen. I don't care if it's a female or a male. The dog name is Rockwaller. Woody, that's a type of dog. That's not a that's not a name for the dog. It may not be a rock bottle, but you're gonna stand strong and tall like a rock bottle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway. It's going to be about two days that we're going to go get the dog. So right now we're going to go run out and see if we can get some things like a bed. We ordered a cage. What else did you order this morning? He ordered a cage. I don't know. So we're going to go get a bed, maybe like the feeding and the drinking bowls. I'm trying to think what else. I don't know. We're just going to go to the store, probably home goods and see what they have. Um, I'm gonna wait till we get the dog before we go to Petco to actually get the food for the dog. But all the other things, like maybe the leash, even though it can't go outside just yet till it gets his shots. Some like pads, I guess, for to use the bathroom on. We have to figure out where in the house the dog is going to actually, like gonna be its home and its area. In your office. <laughs> Anywhere. We have to figure out where in here. I actually think the dining room is probably we're better. We're gonna have to stock up on these. Uh, but so let's head to Home Goods and then probably Walmart to see what they have. You are annoying. This is how a dog would be. Like always bothering you. Stop. All right, let's let's get out of this house. All right, so we are at. Home goods. That's for a cat. That's kind of cute. That little gray one right there. How much is that? Right now he's small, but. Yes, that is. Oh, look at the little pup. Look at the little paws on the side. They're so cute. I like that one. How much is it? That's not bad. <coughs> Why you don't like that one? Yeah, and Tyson could fit in something like that. Bring the cart around. That's huge, Woody. We don't have no. That's for a big dog. Woody, and I don't even go with no decor in our house. Why is it that gray? Mm hmm. That gray go right with that towel. No, I don't like that. And this, I don't think, I think this is going to be super huge for the dog. I understand. I don't like that one. Maybe. Huh? 
How much is this? 25. I still say the other one is better. So guys, we decided to get this since it got dog prints on it. Ain't That's lying. not the only reason. When I put this in the wash machine, those dog prints are gonna become stains. <laughs> I think this is a good medium size. Dog is probably gonna be small, and then it, get, it has room to grow. Yeah, 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 because this is what he does. When he doesn't like something that I say, he tries to squeeze my hand. He tries to squeeze my hand like he can, so he can break my hand. Get out of here. What? You're going to buy two. One's going to be inside the cage when we lock his ass up. And another one's going to be out. As a matter of fact, this one's going to be in the cage when we lock his ass up. And this one will be his, his freedom when we're home. That's funny. Yeah, no, nah, I don't. I'm not a fan of this. This looks too, um, like, and that's not bad. Thirty dollars. I'm just not in love with the shape and all of that. They got this little doggy stairs, doggy step stool. These are little pet food. Oh, look, dog training pads. Bring your cart over here. A hundred of them for twenty dollars. What are you? We're not getting that that thing. Jeez. Lazy self. I'm not picking up shit. <laughs> you don't have a choice. I buy it. What's the 14? I buy it. Woody, are you seriously telling me you're going to rake up crap in the house? And you're not going to just put a glove on and wipe it up with your hand? So we got some. <laughs> some. Pet stuff that is pet. I don't know what this is. Green bone. Pet stuff that is pet safe. Little doggy bags. These are like the little doggy bags that you take with you. And you can, you know, use it to pick up the poop when you go outside. We are leaving our home as two and we'll be coming back as three. Three, how you say? We're about to be pet owners. Then watch me do me doing the most for you. That's what we That's Harlem. Hi, Harlem and Kiki. They're like, they
I ain't fooling with you. No cry. Girls are always crazy. <laughs> you hear that, man? I know, right? <laughs> All right, you can put them over there. All right, my friend. <laughs> they are in love with you guys. <laughs> That was quick. Yeah, I was going to say no crying. <laughs> All done. Thank you. All right, we are home with Harlem. Where is he? And yes, because his father has nurtured him so far <laughs> he follows woody ah, so we're gonna put up the um put up the cage now so that i feel a little comfortable because i feel like he's so small he's gonna get into every nook and cranny so let's put this look at him He's like, what, 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 what? Oh, <laughs> he's bumping into himself and he thinks that that's another dog, I think. Now he could go right here. Whoa. No? You want to put him over here? Giving him food in there at two in the morning. A little snack. A little snack. He don't need to be encouraged to eat at this time. Next thing you know, you're gonna be crapping. You gotta go to bed. I gotta go to bed. It is, what time is it? I think it's 12 o'clock. Um, so it's not exactly 24 hours since we've gotten the puppy. Um, we picked him up yesterday around three o'clock. And even then, we that wasn't us bringing him home. That was us just picking him up to take him to go with his shots. And then we brought him home. Um, I have to say it's, it's an adjustment. 
Uh, I know I'm not limited to like move around my house. However, you know, I don't want the dog just to be crate bound. You know, I do want him to be free and I did allow him, he's napping now, but I did allow him to um, get out this morning while I was cleaning up the kitchen and I barricaded, you know, the dining room area so that he could just be here. I can keep my eyes on him while I'm cleaning up the, um, the kitchen, doing the dishes and everything. And um, of course, once I finished, I came out and definitely found like pee spots in different, different places. And I can see one of the challenges, a couple of the challenges when you first get a dog, we are experiencing. One is the sleeping at night. Um, he, uh, Harlem woke up, his name is Harlem, Harlem Matthews. Harlem woke up at two o'clock, was crying. I came downstairs, Woody came downstairs, or Woody came downstairs first, then I came. Um, you know, I'm like, if nothing is wrong, we know you're, you know, we know you're good, you ate. You know, if you need to use the bathroom, we did put some like little pee pee pads in the crate with him. So, you know, I just, I was, I was tired and um, I just couldn't sleep last night. I don't know if it was just us having the dog or something else, but I just, I just could not get into that like deep, deep sleep, like that carefree sleep. It was like a lot of things on my mind. So I went back upstairs, I laid down. Would he stay downstairs with Harlem a little bit longer than I probably like an hour. And you know, he opened the crate. We did put a blanket over it to kind of signify like now is downtime. Um, and when he took the blanket off of him, opened the crate so that he can walk out and stretch his legs. And then um, I think he even gave him something to eat, which I'm like, well, why did you do that? At two in the morning. Um, then he ended up putting the blanket inside of the crate because he felt that it was kind of cool downstairs. So, um, what I think I'm gonna do eventually, I think I'm gonna end up getting a smaller crate to put upstairs for when we go to sleep so that he can sleep in the room with us near our bed. Uh, right now we just have one crate. I figured just one crate would be his like main home, which is downstairs. But what he did say that he felt it was a little cool. And um, he did say, and I did acknowledge that once he put the blanket, gave the blanket inside and um, that we didn't hear him cry any more the night and then, um, he started barking this morning. Probably it was like around eight o'clock, 8.30. So from two o'clock, three o'clock, that was like five hours, he did do good. So just in case it is a matter of like it being cooler downstairs and nighttime, the heat does rise. So we are like using the fan upstairs versus coming downstairs and downstairs, it's kind of cool. So again, I'm gonna probably get another smaller crate to put upstairs in our room. Um, so that he can be in the room with us in the evening time and you know, we don't have to do too much of getting up out the bed You know, you can glance over and see if he's okay. If he's okay, then you can kind of lay back down um, But um, so what I've been doing to help me along this journey Since I've never lived with a dog in my own house. Um, my aunt has always had dogs We actually got him from my aunt. One of her puppies had um, a litter um so what I've been doing is I've been YouTubing a lot of videos on like what to do in the first, you know, 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours of having a dog. Um, and a lot of it, you know, I think it could work. Um, I have to get Woody on board with it because, you know, one of the things that I've seen a lot of is people say keep their world small when you're bringing them home for the first time. You know, don't, you know, you may want them to have free reign and to roam your house, but you want to keep their world small in the very beginning because their senses are very, they have high senses and sensitive sens senses. So, you know, Woody yesterday kept trying to force the dog to follow him around the house. He would go around in circles downstairs. Um, and he even took the dog upstairs, which I ended up going upstairs and seeing what pee. Um, so one of the things that I did see and I um, watched was that they would say keep your dog's world small in the very beginning. Um, they also talked about pee breaks, you know, like when you have a puppy, Harlem is eight weeks old. Um, so we should be kind of taking him out of the crate and putting him in a designated area that 
you know, every half hour, every 30 minutes to signify like, hey, this is where you go to the bathroom. Um, I guess I'll just have to start doing that because like I said, I did let him kind of roam free and I could have sworn my eyes were on him. And then sure enough, by the time I finished in the kitchen and came to the dining room to start sweeping, I would see like little, you know, pee spots. So I did also feed him um, this morning. He, you know, we were told and I've seen, I've read that pumpkin is a good, um, good enzyme for their digestive system. And especially when you're transitioning your dog, because you're not sure, like say whatever food that their previous owner or that they was raised on and then now you're introducing food that may not be the same food that they've had to use uh, pumpkin so i did mix his food up with some pumpkin and of course he did not really like it but then when woody gave him the separate pellets without the pumpkin mixture he um he ate it so i'm like i just don't want it to you know i'd rather him eat that pumpkin and i just read it had so many health benefits for your animal for your dog's digestive system so i'm trying to force him to do the pumpkin um food and not just the food the pellets by itself um so i did feed him this morning we fed him at like 10 30 ish 10 30 to 11 i took the bowl out of the cage at 11 30 and um i think i'm gonna do it in another six hours so 10, 30, 11, 30, 12, 30, 1, 32, 33, 30, 4, 30, 5, 30. Eh, I might do it like around three o'clock and then give him, so if he ate at 10, then maybe three o'clock and then maybe like, I don't know, like eight o'clock. Let eight o'clock be the last meal. Um, he's napping a lot, which I mean, after I had to pee, clean up the few pee spots, I kind of was like, get back in the cage for a little bit. Um, and I don't know if he associates the, he's a baby, he's eight weeks. So he probably doesn't even associate that I'm putting him in the cage to wipe up all the pee, you know, and I didn't want him to go somewhere. I, you know, I'd rather him be stationary there and he has a pee pee pad there. Um, so I don't even know if he associates that I had him get back in the crate because I had to pee up clean with the pee and I didn't want him to pee. Probably doesn't associate the two, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, go with the conservative side that he didn't associate it and that we just have to keep working on training him to go. Um, what he did take him outside this morning and he said that he did go to the bathroom outside. So the only thing is that he's so small, we have a small leash. I may try to put him on the leash, but he just got his vaccinations yesterday and they did say give it at least two days for the vaccination to be in the system before you take him outside. So of course, my husband doesn't want to listen to directions, so he did that, but I'm more conscious, like, you know what, I'd rather him go inside just to be safe. There's so many people in this development have so many dogs that are, have already probably gone to the bathroom and I just don't want, I just want to be safe, so. I don't mind, I mean, I had to clean up, ugh. Let me tell you guys the story yesterday. I had to clean up vomit and crap a few times yesterday to the point that it, it, it had my stomach hurting. <laughs> it had my stomach hurting. You ever like have to clean up someone's vomit and it almost makes you wanna vomit? Good thing is that I didn't have a crazy smell, but the, um, the veterinarian told us that that is the side effect of the vaccine, that they would um, vomit or maybe even have diarrhea. So thank God it was just the vomit. Um, and the diarrhea actually happened on our way to the vet. So I know it wasn't a side effect of the vaccination. So just check it in to let you guys know how it's going so far. We're not exactly at the 24 hour mark. At the 24 hour mark, I'll be feeding him his second meal and um, second meal of the day he's napping now I'm definitely gonna make sure that he's up and I'm gonna try not to have him nap in the afternoon um, so that he sleeps throughout the night I just gotta find a safe way for him to play and not pee all over the place or all over me um, but yeah that's how it's going so far a few hours in the life of a first time dog mom and dad Yes,